The next key structure element we have in Blocks app is a brick. A brick is a piece of content which we can add to our page by adding it to the columns we have inside our blocks. And we can do that by pressing this plus button and browsing the available bricks in the brick bar. We can just click on the element we want to add, for example this title and paragraph. Or we can switch to the drop mode here in the right sidebar, select the brick we want to add to our page and just place it where we want. And we can see this blue hover effect or the blue lines where this brick is going to be added. We can move bricks around using drag and drop or using the layer tree we have in the left sidebar. A collection of pre-installed bricks we have in blocks is actually very good and I have used only these bricks to create over a hundred beautiful websites. But same as blocks, we can download the third-party bricks and install them to our library. We can just go to Blocks Store and download any of the free or paid bricks to expand the functionality. Each brick can be customized and has some built-in options we can change using the inspector and I will show you how to do that in the next video.